Hi there guys, Troy here from Goes to Hype. And today I've made my way up to sunny Blackpool to get myself into the Pleasure Beach Resort, get on some coasters and actually try out Icon for the very first time. We're into the Pleasure Beach Resort for the 2024 season. Oh, as I say, it's been about eight years, so it's exciting to be back and to see all the changes and what a beautiful day I've picked. I didn't know that weather was going to be like this about three weeks ago when I planned to come here. Lovely stuff. Oh, I'll definitely be getting a ride in on Valhalla later. Hopefully dry off pretty quick as well, which will be rare. I don't think there's too many planned ride closures for that either, which is brilliant. Oh, soak in the atmosphere. And the Grand National. I'll have to get my painkillers ready for that one. I think that one's a bit of a risk. <laughs> Hello. He's tested it out. Little solo rider. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, just look at that view. So much coaster track in one little place. Oh, what is in Grumman? Oh, well, there's no cure. It'd be rude not to go and say hello, wouldn't it? Go. So I'm here with Grummy at Blackpool and Wallace here. Give everyone a wave. Lovely stuff. Good to meet you guys. Good to meet you. <laughs> What's up? Oh, handshake. <laughs> that was harder than it needed to be. <laughs> All right, let's carry on now that we've had some photos taken with the boys. Um, yeah, just make our way down. Oh, I can see the side. Oh, it's coming. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, the station. Look at this view. This is all new to me, I haven't seen any of this. Oh, the music. Look at that, mate. Oh, it's that big dipper as well. And in we go. Oh. multi-launch coaster. The only multi-launch coaster in the country. Let's nice get on it. So guys, I've just come off Icon for the very first time, and wow, what a ride. Those lap bar restraints, that air time, there it goes. That air time is insane. I actually queued for the front row, so I had a perfect view of the coaster. Um, I'm looking forward to getting back on it and trying the back. Oh, it's just exciting. I'll tell you what, it's, I don't know where it is in my top five, it's definitely in my top five coasters. That was very enjoyable indeed. I think I, think I just like the launch coasters, multi-launch. Come on, that's such a good ride. It's annoying that I've not got here sooner to have a ride on it, to be honest. But um, yeah, definitely enjoy those launch coasters and those lap bar restraints make it, you know, this top level as well. Kind of makes me excited for Iberia even more. Lap bar restraints with Mac, baby. Come on. That launch. Woo! So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go straight around again on the back. Let's go again on the back. on the back row and oh my god it's it's a completely different ride in a good way like they're both both completely different in good ways but like the amount of whip you get on the back 
the hang time on that, that off the second launch when you're just going like that, crazy. All quick turns, bunny hills. It's such a good ride. I enjoyed the back seat and I feel the get off on all the other sort of coasters now. And then I will be going on Enzo later. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've done front, I've done back. I'm going to try out Enzo. Now I'm going to go on the big one. Arguably the next biggest coaster here at the park. Uh, funny enough, this coaster was actually the tallest in the world when it was first constructed back in the 90s. And as of uh, for 13 days time, it won't be the tallest even in the UK that's operating um, with my period opening. But so let's get a ride on the big one whilst it's still the tallest UK operating roller coaster. Well, it's a bit of a long one. Wow, um, I was on the back row. It was like I've just come out of a blender, Jesus Christ. Yeah, as I was just saying before, I went into the photo point there, that is very rough. Wow, I do not remember it being that rough. Oh, give me a slight headache actually, but I literally feel like I've been for a blender. Um, great view, uh, but yeah, wow. Um, it kind of takes away from the ride actually, it needs that retract for sure, which I know they're working on, but they need to retract the whole thing, I'll be honest. All the drops. <laughs> I remember it being bumpy, but nothing like that. I've lost my words. You would hope that the uh, the new UK store list is going to be a little bit smoother than that. Oh my word. <sighs> One old ride with the Big Dipper to another old classic, the Steeplechase. Now this is the only coaster of its kind still in existence in the world. So let's give this ride. Steeple chase is truly unique. <laughs> a little bit jolty as well on that single rail, um, but something different and obviously a classic here at the park. So now it's time, once I've finished my iced coffee, nice, uh, to get on everybody's favorite Vekoma SLC. That's Infusion here at Blackpool Resort, or Pleasure Beach Resort, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. I remember it being a little bit rough last time, but it surely can't be as rough as the big one is. Uh, so let's give it a go. Oh, listen to it roaring around the track. Beautiful on a summer's day as well. And it's nice to see this water fountain actually in use. It really adds to the ride. And three. wasn't rough. I feel like everyone hates on this ride maybe a bit too much. 
it actually didn't feel very rough and I really enjoyed the fact that my legs, I had to tuck my legs in, it felt like some of these bits here where you're kind of crossing over the track, it feels like your legs are going to get clipped. Um, so I like that element, very close quarters. Yeah, do you know what? Definitely smoother than the big one. Right, so it's time to get very, very wet. I'm going on Valhalla. I actually changed my shoes and I've got swimming trunks on, uh, so I come prepared. So after this, I won't be completely soaked because I can get changed. There's a lot of hype around this indoor dark water ride. So I've just come off Valhalla, and yes, I'm not looking too bad, actually. Uh, had the Rain Mac on over my bag, protecting the camera uh, and my phone and everything. Uh, and yeah, I didn't get too wet. My bum's a little bit wet, but I'm wearing trunks, so that's not a problem. And the ride itself, though, obviously, it's great length. It's got some great effects in there. I do know that there's meant to be a fire, like, triangle that you go through. That wasn't on, but everything else was good. The water uh, going over your head. Um, you know, it's, obviously it's a really good dark ride and you do get soaked on it. had a bumpy ride on the Grand National. It was a good ride. Um, I'm just thinking, imagine that as an RNC though. It's a good coaster and it's actually smoother than the big one, but imagine it as an RNC. It's got a perfect amount of space for it. And also you could do two. Imagine that, a dueling RNC. I've bought an endo slot. It's about half four, just gone half four. So I'm gonna get on that before the end of the day. Here we are. Let's go. Oh, we're getting to the station. Dude, it's not even a good friend zone. Oh my god! Holy, that was next level, mate. Enzo on Icon at Blackpool. What is going on with that? He's a beast of a ride. Wow, I'm glad I've done that. Holy. <laughs> Actually lost for words. I was spinning backwards, spinning sideways. I was launching that hang time backwards, upside down. Oh my word. Insane, insane. Worth it, guys. Pay that 15 pounds off, honestly. Do it. <laughs> but, oh, I haven't done Revolution today. Obviously, I was coming back tomorrow and there's been quite a big queue on it, but We've got five minutes to a park though, so we might as well jump in. Looks pretty empty now as well. Boy, I wasn't kidding. There's no queue. Whew. There's the big one. Oh, hey. Good view up here. Beautiful day to be down the seaside. Tell you what, I'll give Revolution credit, that is a unique coaster. Here it comes now going backwards. The feeling going backwards doing a loop the loop is is I can't even describe it. It's really unique, weird feeling. My face was getting pulled forward. It's a unique coaster, I think it's perfect for this park, something different. It fits in a very thin like sort of plot of land. Um, and it was a good way to end the day, I hadn't been on it yet, so a final coaster for today before I come back tomorrow. Um, but yeah, good ride. Oh, I've got most coasters today, so uh, I've done pretty well. Wow, what a day. It's been a beautiful weather. Got some good coasters, got some rough coasters. 
uh, but had a good time all in all. And also Icon and Enzo, which has been the absolute highlight of today, of course. Uh, but you could have guessed that. So guys, uh, truth be told, I've been feeling uh, a little bit rough today, obviously being hungover. So I haven't really done any vlogging, but I've been getting some off-ride shots, which I would have put in the video already. Um, but yeah, it's been a great second day here. Well worth coming for Icon alone. Uh, what a great ride. Uh, and it just gets me excited for Hyperion. As of tomorrow, it will technically be next week because it's the 24th of May. Oh my word. Anyway, enough about that. Um, that's wrapping everything up here from Blackpool. Uh, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one. It's the same G-Force as an F1 car. And the UK's only double launch coaster. <laughs> that advert, man. I see it on YouTube all the time. You've probably saw it before this video.